Hello everybody, we're gonna get here again. Just gonna make a quick video for you guys while this loads up here. Um, explain to you my UI and add-ons and things like that, that that I use. Um, that come into raid scenarios, Mythic Plus, all that kind of stuff. Because I have been getting a lot of questions on it. Uh, mainly um, DPS tracking, um, user interface, and most people think my bars still, even after the how-to video, and I explained that my bars are not um, part of a user, user interface. They're part of weak auras. Uh, they are actually individual weak orders set up in order to look nice and clean and show circles and like bright colors and whatnot when cooldowns are back. Um, that being said, let's go ahead and get started. And as you can see down here is a bunch of clumpy shit. Like it's just literally weak aura bars and LVI bars. So when I'm in Windwalker spec, I do not have my two primary bars for LVI loaded because my bars are my weak auras. So if you see here, disabled them, bars one and two, nice clean bottom list of weak auras. And again, I will have these weak auras and everything posted in links down below to my wago.io uh, profile. And you can download everything there, um, import the strings, whatever you need to do. So you go to weak aura again, flash WA, and I click here. As you can see, it highlights this big box down here in the middle. And that's pretty much where this weak aura comes into play. And as you can see, if I disable it uh, or view, it goes away because it's literally just a weak aura, nothing else. That's what I use for bars because the reason why I use weak auras for bars and luckily, thank God someone created this because I can't create weak auras on my own. I literally just go in there, copy someone else's and modify it to my specifications, like all the yellow bars and stuff and everything around it that determines that it's off cooldown and I can use it right away because I react mainly by like the way I react with my DPS is mainly sound and then just seeing lights on the bottom for things I don't have sound with. So, um, you actually click in here, it just goes through individual weak ores and how I have it set up. Again, you can import the string for my weak or customization to your profile and you'll be set. Um, you don't have to do anything. All the sounds and everything should be in there automatically. Um, and so for example, like the big ones that I use that are sound triggers is mainly my strike of the wind Lord, my, um, and my uh, SEF. So that thunderstorm was my strike of the Windlord. And then once these go away, or once my cooldown comes back up for the SEF, you'll hear like a kicking sound. That means my cooldown is back up or it went away. That's literally what I'm doing. And that's the reason why I have weak ores for bars because I run entirely on sound to know when cooldowns are at. So I don't have to keep looking down at the bar and then die to some sort of mechanic because I'm not paying attention. <laughs> Message. Message again. <laughs> I should probably put that on vibrate. Uh, <laughs> I apologize for that. Um, but um, yeah, that, that's pretty much the reason why I use weak auras over LVI bars is because some glorious person decided to make them. I customize them to help my performance in DPS. And mainly, the main reason I hooked up sounds is so I don't have to look down at my bars and look at cooldowns and don't have to look at anything on the screen. I just hear it. I know it's back. Boom, control my DPS faster, and I don't die to a stupid mechanic because, as you guys probably know, I don't know for those of you who watch me, everyone in my guild knows I tend to fly off of shit, I tend to stand in shit, I tend to be pretty terrible when it comes to mechanics. So, this LVI bar system just helped me out so much. I will try to make, uh, not make, but I will try to have other classes set up for their weak auras and customize those a little bit more. But it's a lot of time to set all this these bars up. It took me like two and a half hours to set up. It took me quite a bit of time to customize them. They get these little circ like little squares light up and all that. It took me quite a bit of time to set it up. So um, feel free to use it because it took me two and a half hours to set it all up with the noises and shit. Um, so that's the bars. So now if you see that I go to Brewmaster spec, these bars will go away because these are only act these weak orders will literally only be active when um uh I'm in Windwalker spec. So as you can see, the bars went away. So literally, I don't have any weak orders for Brewmaster. So I just have to go into LVI, which you can download from tukui.org and customize it yourself, or you can download mine from the wago.io website. Um, so right here has a button, LVI, R1, enable, enable. And as you can see, I have all my stuff there. Um, so that's pretty much it on my LVI. Click toggle anchors. I literally don't customize anything else on LVI. I just move everything around where I want, player frame, target, target, cast bar, all that. I move that to where I want and that's it, nothing else. And again, this in, this string will be on the website. Feel free to download if you want. Um, so literally LVI does everything else. Um, chat, DPS area, all these little add-ons that I'd probably, I'd never even use. I don't care about my gold. Like I don't, 
uh, it's just it's just stupid. I never use any of this shit down here, so I probably disable it. I just make my gameplay run smoother if I disable it. All right, so that's that. So now the biggest question I get all the time is going to be, let me disable those bars real fast, because it's going to make shit clutter and go back to DPS. Biggest question I get on how do you have, where do you get the real-time DPS thing, which is right here in the middle. I get that. Still didn't disable that second bar. I get that from details. It's in details. It's part of streamer settings. I have been giving out some incorrect information um, because I couldn't remember exactly how I did it. And I was literally frustrated on stream for like a good hour and a half trying to figure out where it was. So I used to think, so you first you click on the settings for detail. I'll show you where it's at. Click on streamer settings. I used to think it was over here in the real current DPS just because it makes sense for it to be there, you know, real current DPS, but it's not. It's actually here in streamer plugin uh, action tracker. You actually click on this button here. It'll pull up your action tracker, which is up here, activating specialized, blah, blah. Um, that's where it pretty much just shows the last button I pressed. And I also have another last button press bar down here, which is Trufy GCD. Um, I actually like Trufy better than the action tracker, but I have it in both so people can actually read what's what instead of having just to look at an image. Um, so if you actually click on locked, as you can see, this pops up and right here where my DPS meter is, you can see there's a black bar, grayish bar, and I can move it around. So now I'll put that back and lock it. And right here is where you enable it though. Show DPS slash APS. So you click on that, APS, HPS. Um, and it goes on and off and that's it. You can customize the color, do all that. You can make it bigger. You can update the update speed, all that pretty straightforward. Um, so yeah, that's where you find it for all of those you've been asking for those of you that gave the wrong information to. There it is. Um, other than that, uh, oh, sorry, I got a message here. Um, other than that, uh, that's pretty much it, dudes. I don't really use anything else. Um, I do use, you go to add ons here, interface add ons, auctionator, pretty awesome. I suggest downloading it when it comes to buying stuff in auction house, it makes it a lot faster. So I had to click buy, buy out, and all that kind of shit. It makes it faster. I barely downloaded this the other day. Um, details you can see angry keystones is what i use because i don't I, that's where like when i'm in mythic plus you just see the white text i use angry keystones for that um egp that's for raid shit raid shit raid shit um uh, actually angry keystones actually i don't really use angry keystones i actually use gotta go fast i'd like gotta go fast faster i think angry keystone works with it i don't know gotta go fast is what i use gotta go gotta go fast is the one that shows the white text i know that for a fact Pawn, never use it. It just tells me if an item's an upgrade and shit, but I haven't redone that in forever, so I don't care. Raid roll, raider.io, that's awesome for uh, Mythic Plus groups. And then, yeah, literally, I don't use much add-ons. So uh, I would say get Gotta Go Fast or Angry Keystones. So it tells you, like, how much time you got left until your next uh, your next chest is over and all that kind of good stuff. Um, but, yeah, that's pretty much it. Mainly, the biggest question people want to answer was where do you get that real-time DPS meter and... There you are. It's part of details and streamer options on the streamer tracker or the whatever action tracker thingy. And that's, that's pretty much it guys. So uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I really, really appreciate it. Hope you guys have a good day. Good night, wherever you're at. And thank you for being part of syndicate. Peace out.